today. My name is Miss Brooke and this is New Hope Kids Online. And you know, we are on the fourth week, the last day of our virtual road trip. We've been learning all month about God's Ten Commandments and the road trip that the Israelites were on when they got these rules from God that helped them learn how to live their lives. Now we've learned a lot so far, but there's still more that God has to teach us about how to live our lives. Uh, but before we get all to that, let's have some music. about the Ten Commandments and uh, what they mean for us. Now today we're going to talk about how important it is that we love everyone and we're going to talk about what that looks like. So those commandments, we talked about seven of them so far. Do you want to try to do those together? God first, no idols, respect God's name, worship and rest on God's day, honor your parents, don't hurt or hate others, mm -hmm. and number seven, keep all promises including your marriage. Let's take a look at the remaining three commandments. They're really all about living in a community with others and loving them. God wants us to love other people. But how? Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now once again, welcome to Pro TV! Come on, man. You can do this. You got this. Your name is Carl. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Grow TV. So glad you could be here today. Right now, I think we should play a little game. The game is called, What Is That Thing? 
we're gonna show you a very close up picture of something. Then we're gonna ask ourselves, <laughs> what is that thing? Once we make a guess, we'll zoom out and see if we were right. Ready? Let's go. That was a great job, kids. <laughs> Excuse me one moment. <sighs> Carl, you can do this. You're doing a great job. Come on, buddy. You got this. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had to feed my parrot, which I have sometimes. It's totally real. I have a real life parrot. It flies. <laughs> oh, hey, TJ. Carl, how you doing, man? <laughs> I'm great. So great. Everything is wonderful. Um, okay. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> Can I call you back? Um, yeah, I guess. All right, man. Well, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> sure thing. <sighs> I can do this. I can't do this. Listen, kids, I've had a really rough week. I've seen a lot of people be mean to other people. And I tell you what, I just don't feel like being around anymore. And to be honest, I don't even want to talk to anyone right now. Do you ever feel that way? So I think I've made a decision. I'm no longer going to be part of society or the world as we know it. I'm going to take a road trip off the grid, away from the main people or the people that don't like me. So first, I'm going to take these headphones. You see, these things will help me not hear the bad things people say. Next is my tablet. I'm going to smash it. Because if I smash it, I won't see the bad things that people are doing. Ah! And now for my phone. TJ? Hey man, listen. I know you said you were going to call back, but man, something just felt off, man. Just want to check in and see if you are okay. DJ, I'm having a hard time, man. With what? Well, this week I've seen a lot of people be mean to one another. It just got me sad, TJ. <sighs> man, I'm sorry about that. But you know what? What? It's going to be okay. Of course you would say that. No, no, man. I, re I really mean it. It's going to be okay. I don't know, but that doesn't change the fact that I'm going to close myself off from society, live off the grid, and only be around myself. Well, Carl, l l let me ask you something. Do you want to obey God? What kind of question is that? Of course I want to obey God. Well, then I don't think you can do what you're planning. What? Why? Well, let's read the last three commandments. All right, let's do it. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witnesses against your neighbor and you shall not covet. So no stealing, no lying, and wait, what does covet mean? Like coveting means to want and desire something that isn't yours. Oh, <laughs> okay, that makes sense. It does. So Carl, do you know why I wanted you to read those last three commandments? To prove to you that I can read? <laughs> no, man. I just know that following those commandments would show that we love people, and loving people is important. I know that. Well, think about it this way. Can you really love people if you choose to not be around them forever? Well, I thought I could, but maybe I can't. Now, Carl, there's always going to be mean people and bad things that happen. Ain't that the truth? But there is also so many great and wonderful things that God gives us every single day. I guess you're right. I'm glad you understand, man. You got me scared for a second there. Nah, I'm all right. Since God loves everyone, it makes total sense that we obey God by loving everyone. Hey, Carl. You just said our big idea. <laughs> huh? I did? Well, apparently today's big idea is we obey God by loving everyone. So let's say it out loud together on the count of three. One. Two. Three. We, we obey, obey God, God by loving, by loving others. <laughs> Good job, everyone. Well, I just hate that I broke my tablet for nothing. <laughs> yeah, that stinks, Carl. But always remember that loving people is not always easy, but it's definitely worth it.
Carl. 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 Oh, were you talking to me? <laughs> TJ, I can't hear you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kids, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Pro TV. So let's take a look at the big ideas from this month. So the first one was we obey God by putting God first. The next one was we obey God by worshiping God. Then last week, we talked about we obey God by loving our families. That's pretty important. And then today, we said that we obey God by loving everybody. You know, let's think about those last three commandments that we learned about today. I mean, don't steal. So we definitely can show love by respecting other people's things and by not taking things that don't belong to us and then don't lie especially about other people we can show love by choosing to be honest with people and of course not by saying things that aren't true or by just saying stuff when we don't really have all the information and then don't want what other people have be happy with what you have we can show love by being happy for people when they have good stuff and not like just being mad and trying to figure out how we can get it right you know, to be completely honest, only God can perfectly love everybody. But because we love God, we have to try to love the people that God loves too. We have to try. And it's a good thing too that God gives us these examples of what to do and not to do to kind of show us how to love other people. You know, it's not easy that you're supposed to love everybody. Mm -hmm. But in real life, it's really, really hard. I know it's what you're supposed to do, but it's so hard. Mm. Especially if that person is not always nice to you. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Let's listen to what it says in Romans 13, 8 through 10. I'm going to read that. Pay everything you owe. But you can never pay back all the love that you owe each other. Those who love others have done everything the law requires. Here are some commandments to think about. Do not, oh, honor, no, excuse me, honor your marriage commitments. Do not commit murder. Do not steal. Do not want what other people have. These and other commandments are included in one rule. Here's what it is. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love does not harm its neighbor. So love does everything that the law requires. Up until now, we've been thinking that each of these commandments is the law. But this Bible passage says that we're keeping the law when we love others. Yeah, you know, think about the laws of the road since we're on a road trip, you know. I mean, why do we stop at a red light? Well, you know, the red light keeps us safe and stops us from hurting somebody else. Okay, yeah. Also, we could get a ticket, right? Yes. So we want to do it because of that. And we don't want to crash our nice car. No. <laughs> it gives us a chance to slow down and listen to God. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, there, the red, yeah. The, the stop that. sign. Yeah, yeah, that was that too. But, you know, to be honest, it's kind of like there's a couple of different answers. So we stop to keep us safe and we stop so we don't get in trouble. Now, both of them are right, but... The rules that God gives us are kind of the same thing. He gives us rules to help keep us safe and help keep us happy. And when we follow God's rules, then 
we're following them because he knows what's best for us and that's how we really are happier and we're we're just better off that way so it's not just about getting in trouble it's about following God's rules so that we can live the life that he wants us to live you know and when you think about those last commandments 8 through 10 they really are about loving everybody and hey it's a whole lot harder to hurt people when you love them I mean if I love somebody I'm not gonna steal from them or I'm not gonna lie to them so it kind of helps us to, to love other people better too. So are you ready to do our Bible verse one more time? Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. All right. Luke 10, 27. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind. And love your neighbor as yourself. All right, guys, we are almost finished. Now, really important, on today's download, you're going to find your own road signs. And what I want you guys to do is download them and decorate them any way you want to help you remember how to put God first and how to love God's people, which is, of course, each other. So after you do that, I hope that you'll have your mom or your dad take a picture, send them to me at brooke at go-newhope.com because I would love to share them with the rest of our church family. Um, so just email those to me. Miss Kim, would you pray for us? Dear God, thank you for each person that you put into our lives to love and help us to love them and show respect for their things and just help us to remember to put you first and to love others. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All right, guys. Well, I hope you had a great time on our road trip. Um, this is our last day for road trip, but don't worry, because next time we're going to start a whole new adventure. I hope to see you then. Bye. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Take care.